forget about the fact that, and we discussed earlier, how some places categorize people as crime writers, other places do not. Some ghettoize crime, some do not. How do you feel crime, and this is a question for both of you had to discuss it with each other. How do you feel about what does crime mean to you in your books? I know that's a big question, but the issue of crime and what it's about. Both of your books have a crime in fact. So yeah. well, um, well, I think we both use it to bring forward something else, right? I mean I don't really agree, I don't really write primarily to figure out who did it. I, I, I read and write to get in touch with the world, to present the world that I have inside me, I feel, or to get in touch with a writer who has it. And I feel the same way with you, that you create a universe and then, uh, I don't know, maybe you could say that, that the crime story is on the spine of the body and then all the other stuff needs to be there, but it's sort of making it coherent. Um, so that's definitely what I did. And I used it to bring forward all these philosophical issues. When are we really responsible for anything? Which, of course, is inherent in crime fiction. Yeah, I, 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 I agree completely. It's, for me, I can't imagine having a book without uh, a crime in it because that's the way I think of story. But, but it's really there to put characters under pressure because um, I really I write from character and um, and it's a way of it's sort of a way of you know tearing back the curtain and seeing what seeing what was really going on. This is certainly true in your book too. If it weren't for this circumstance, uh, both the crime and the brain injury, we wouldn't really see what what this family yeah. is made of and yes. the sort of mysteries and, and strangenesses. And, and my book has a family too where all the sort of mysteries and strangenesses of the family become revealed because of this this high pressure, this intensity, that everybody sort of being pushed to the edge. So I think it's a it's it's and to, a device would be to, to diminish it. It's not really a device, it's a, it's a method I would say. A what's right? A method. A yeah. method of giving yeah. something. Yeah. Well it does doesn't it <clears throat> I mean um, any sort of transgression or crime, as Megan just said, it sort of uh, elevates the emotional impact of the situation. So you see characters at a higher pitch or in a situ situation out of their, let's say, norm or certainly. Their well, we can all put people under stress in, in a book. It doesn't have to necessarily to be a crime novel. But of course, pressure will also show people what they are made of. Yes, but. Uh, you. Um... I think it it, uh, it it sort of enables this sort of having having this sort of crime. Sort of your it sort of peels off the layer to the unconscious in some way. It lets a lot of stuff that you know it isn't just like having a bad day at work kind of pressure. It's really showing what you're made of, showing what you really do um, in certain circumstances. When sort of all bets are off. Mm -hmm. sort of pushed against the wall, which I think we certainly see among all the family members in your book. So, I mean, in some ways you could say that all genre books are about everything being at a higher pitch, whether it's horror or melodrama or any of these things. But I think the element of crime is that it also allows for uh, explorations of social issues. Because there's been an argument lately, and I think it's absolutely true, that the crime, the, the crime novel has become a social novel in America at least, that that's the place where social issues are explored in a way you don't necessarily see in literary fiction. And I think that, that, that that's one of the...